So you have a sub 250 gram drone in the UK and recently social media has been ablaze with talk of remote ID and you just want to know if and when it will impact your little drone. Well today we're going to give you everything you need to know within just four minutes. So let's start the clock shall we? Although before we start if you want more drone content like this, hit the subscribe button. It'll keep you informed and it will make me smile. Recently, it was announced that UK drones will soon be tracked via remote ID. There was a lot of info to take in and some of it was certainly authorities trying to wave a large stick and I think scare a few people. In very basic terms, this will beam out information to confirm who the registered owner of the drone is so authorities can find you and apparently also to give the public confidence. For a deeper dive on how it will work in the UK, check out our other videos. I will link a few of them in the description. The most important thing to explain first before all of the details is this, the timeline. Although Remote ID starts in the UK from January 2026, it only includes drones that are over 250 grams and have a UK one label. So for a good chunk of time in the middle here until 2028, it's unlikely that your sub 250 gram drone will need to worry about remote ID at all. So we're talking things like the DJI Mini series, the small Otels alike. That is because at the moment, UK law states remote ID is required when they activate the legislation essentially for drones over 250 grams. Now, if we jump along the timeline to 2028, we'll see that the CAA plan to change the rules to bring the minimum weight requiring remote ID to just 100 grams if the drone has a camera. Now, there are a few areas where things are still a little bit cloudy here in the middle, but we'll get more clarification from the CAA and DFT closer to the 2026 kickoff. But in real terms, remote ID is coming in because they legally cannot kick the can down the road any longer and pretty much have to bring it in. In the recent proposed changes from the CAA, that actually, as of a meeting including DFT that Geeksvana attended only a few days ago, we're told are pretty much agreed by government, the CAA confirmed that legacy rights would continue indefinitely. So you're also a little sub 250 gram drone will be a lot of use in most of the UK airspace for a good amount of years to come. The only significant changes are that you will need to have a flyer ID and remote ID for anything over 100 grams but again that's up here in 2028. Now looking again at the zoomed out timeline and it isn't the longest amount of time but I would suggest that the vast majority of people flying drones right now are probably going to replace them for a newer model somewhere here in the middle, and that really will deal with most of the issues anyway. If you do hold on to your existing drone, I would expect a DJI update to the firmware of anything from the Mini 3 onwards to include remote ID requirements from 2028. And if you are flying something older, then you can get a module to put on your drone. Here is one of those modules from a company called Drone Tag. We've got a really in-depth video on remote ID and all of the technology surrounding it coming up on the channel. So keep an eye out on that. We've got all sorts of technology here on the desk and in, in the studio at the moment. As we renew our drones moving forward, they will start to show the UK version of the C labels, something we have to switch to rather than just using the EU version, sadly. And that will also naturally take care of things like remote ID. But again, drones that are currently the popular sub 250 gram, like the DJI Minis will be UK zero or C zero as we know it now. And those will also not need anything remote ID wise until 2028 again. So if you fly sub 250 gram drones or are thinking of buying one in the UK right now, you have years to fly before you need to worry. And even then it will be simple updates and modules. That doesn't answer the political questions around remote ID or in terms of should this actually be happening at all. But that is a debate for an upcoming deep dive into the politics of tracking our drones. Keep an eye out on the channel for that one. Should be a lot of fun. How did we do? Great. I hope you enjoyed this short explainer and it helps to put the right information out there. Sean out.